Bye. Welcome to Beer Credit. Welcome back to Bear Critic. Tonight, we are trying the original Coors. Started in 1873 in Golden, Colorado by Adolf Coors and another guy. I don't remember his name. <laughs> Did you say Adolf Coors? Yes. Interesting. It's German. It, it's Bear. It's German. What do you expect? I mean, fuck. Yeah. But, as long as it tastes good. The original, you wouldn't. The original Coors. Are we gonna like it? We'll find out. We'll find out. <laughs> Coors Light really surpassed my expectations, so I don't see why not. No. Yeah. Oh, <laughs> of course, they come in these these bottles. Supposed to be from the style of the um, 1930s, 1937s, something like that. All the bottle caps say over 140 years made one way. Very light colored beer. It's very light colored. Not a lot of head. Mm -hmm. <laughs> oh, before we get started, we have another special guest my brother Gary. All the way from Alabama. Come drink a beer with us. <laughs> Drove here today from Alabama. It's a long drive just for a cold beer. It's worth it though. <laughs> but yeah. I remember that drive. That drive sucked. Yeah, it's in just... a little underpowered Toyota pickup with no cruise control. I didn't have cruise control, but I had a little bit of power. <laughs> <laughs> I'm sure everybody remembers the little white Toyota. Yes, I love the Yoda. <laughs> That's what I drove to Alabama to get him. All right. Yeah, it was... it smells nice. Oh, very nice. Very light scent. Mm -hmm. I actually think it has less of a scent than the Coors Light. Maybe. Interesting. Well, cheers. Cheers. Uh, Definitely a like different it. flavor than the Coors Light. Yeah. I kind of like it though. Yeah. It, um, they don't have that real bitter taste to it. No. Nothing like anhydrous uh, That's a slight... No. It's got a little bit of bitter to it, but a, not bad. A slight not bitter bad. at the beginning, but goes away quickly. Yeah. Mm -hmm. I get a little bit more bitter aftertaste out of it, actually. Really? Yeah, a little bit of bitter aftertaste. Yeah. I mean, there is a little bit of bitter at the beginning, but nothing that really jumps out to me at all. Yeah. Mm -hmm. The aftertaste it's is... definitely drinkable, though. The aftertaste mm -hmm. is a little bitter, but like you said, nothing like Anheuser-Busch or anything no. near. I think they put bitters in their fucking alcohol. <laughs> they had to do something. Because yeah. everything they put out, basically. Yeah. Yeah. Basically, my fat ass. <laughs> Pretty much every fucking thing Anheuser Busch puts out. If it says Anheuser Busch, <laughs> wasting time. It's very nice. It's not over carbonated, so you can drink it without 
and getting the burning in your throat. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Some you could chug if you really wanted to. Oh yeah, this is this is kind of a chugging beer. <laughs> Which is it's why just they good sell. Good like drinking beer though too. Yeah. Yeah. The bitterness of the aftertaste is actually kind of building on me. We're usually, yeah. you know, three, four drinks in, it mm -hmm. starts to go away. It's actually building slightly. Mm -hmm. I, I'm not getting that. Kind of like that. Yeah. It's, the, the bitterness is not so overpowering that you don't want to drink it. To me, anyways. <sighs> Look at you, trying to... <laughs> trying to race me or something. <laughs> no, I'm just drinking it. Something about that aftertaste is just messing with me. Mm. Yeah, it's definitely not a bad beer. It's, it's almost got like a coppery aftertaste to it. At, at least that's what's hitting me, and we all know my taste is fucked. No. Yeah. Not really getting copper so much, but um, it's not as good as the hams, but it's still good. No, it's not, it's not the hams. <laughs> but um, uh, so they use um the Rocky Mountain spring water to make it. I don't know if could be could be close to the land of sky blue waters, considering we have no fucking clue where that is. Yeah. Well, it's supposed to be Minnesota, but they're not made in Minnesota. Now we're made in Milwaukee, Wisconsin. The hams is. But it's all owned by the same company. Either way, it tastes good. Mm. And so far, the stuff that Miller Coors puts out, we've liked. The stuff Anheuser Busch puts out, not so much. Yeah, Miller Light on draft is just amazing. Oh, yeah, that's. Yeah, it's the best way to have it, for sure. Make yeah. Ultra's the same way. This one might be the same way as well, actually. Amber Bach is that way as well. I can barely drink an Amber Bach out of a bottle. I will buy it by the fucking pitcher on tap. <sighs> right. That's what we need to find a good bar here that has stuff like that. Or just create our own. Just go get some kegs. <sighs> go get some kegs. Yeah. Get some kegs. Pop some holes on the table. We're good to go. Table my ass. <laughs> It'll only take me a couple hours to turn the fridge to a kegerator. <laughs> That would be good. I so even, we can find one pretty cheap. I even have the 30 pound CO2 bottle so we can there you go. pressurize the cage. <laughs> there you go. Yard. Who needs food? You know? Yeah, who needs food? We'll have a separate fridge just for beer. I didn't say the whole fridge had to be beer. I didn't say the whole fridge had to be beer. <laughs> I call a tie. We can always have the door empty. My, my, mine was set down first. <laughs> Either way, we finished together. <laughs> I don't like this one. <laughs> that aftertaste is fucking with me. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Not too bad. I, I like it. I'm... It does have a bit of aftertaste, though. A little bit. And the way flavors and everything react to me is <coughs> so much different than everybody else in any fucking way. Yeah. <clears throat> Apparently, it goes good with Taco Bell, too. Yeah, no, that. <laughs> you belt up some Taco Bell, you're like, that's a good combination. <laughs> that's very. Everything's good with Taco Bell. Oh, you bet your ass. Bet. I don't know. Del Taco's better. No, you were saying everything goes with Taco Bell. Bet. <laughs> I can make a run to Walmart right now. I guarantee <laughs> you I can pick something up that don't go with my Taco Bell. Ugh. <laughs> I, I, I don't know. Let's go Bex. Let's go pick him up a warm bottle of fucking Jaeger. Oh. Oh, no. No, no if we want anything that tastes like Jaeger, did that? if you that want anything that tastes like Jaeger that's okay. good, it's absent. We were it's already delicious. drunk one day when he broke out the fucking nut, uh, warm <laughs> bottle of Jaegermeister, and we played Circle of Death with it. Oh, cool. Yeah, that wasn't a lot. That wasn't a good idea. Never drink it warm. Warm no. Jägermeister has got off on its own. The second time? <laughs> <laughs> you want to die. <laughs> yeah. 
No. Absinthe is good. I've heard, I've heard it is, but I've never. I want to get the Mansif and try that. Yeah, that would be cool. I like the Lucid. Yeah, that's what I tried before. I've had actual real Absinthe and then the Lucid fake Absinthe they sell in the States, and it's not bad, but it's not as good as real Absinthe, I don't think. But it's a fuck of a lot better than a lot of other liquors no. you can buy. <laughs> yeah, Just try it with the sugar cube. And yes. Pour, okay. You tried it properly. Yes, you I got to. Okay. I tried just a shot glass of absinthe, yeah. and then one actually poured over the uh, over sugar cube. Tastes sugar so cube. much better. Oh. By itself, it's goddamn near rubbing alcohol with sugar yeah. cube. It's not bad. <laughs> yeah, a friend of mine in Utah, he had some one day. He offered me some, so we would done it in sugar cube. And it was really good. So when I get the man sip, we gotta do that. Absolutely, we gotta <laughs> gotta try that Maryland man sip. Gotta do it on video, of course. Oh, of course. Hopefully, we'll have another channel for liquor soon. Yes, we need the box of liquor. <laughs> what the <laughs> fuck? <laughs> yes, we're waiting on you. <laughs> That's going to be included on this channel. <laughs> There's just going to be a no, I'm on a black here. box with a question mark <laughs> this is a going black box. around soon. <laughs> Look at the box of death. <laughs> See that Bud Light box right there? Take that, paint it black with a big ass fucking nut, question mark on it. Yeah. Set it on its side with a hole about that big and just throw three or be four perfect. every different type of airplane model we could find in it. Yes, it'd be perfect. The question is, what do you have to do to get punished by reaching another box? <laughs> it's not necessarily punished. Uh, whoever finishes their beer first, don't have to reach in the box. No, I think, oh, I, reaching, <laughs> I think reaching into the box is going to be on a bet basis. On a bet basis? That will be our standing bet is reaching into the box and drinking whatever <laughs> comes out. But, on and off camera. <laughs> yeah, there's got to be rules. Got to be out of rules. We'll come up with some. <laughs> and I found out that Beer 30 in Marionville does actually sell Everclear in the <laughs> box. Oh, um. And 151. Mm. Oh, God. I've <laughs> had some bad nights at 151. So high, but watching him drink a... Uh, it is, especially when you're doing shots and, and you're lighting it on fire. Yeah, it's bad nights. Yeah. I did that at the bar one night and got looked at like I was a psycho. <laughs> Actually, at Ruby Tuesdays, they won't sell 151 because you can light it on fire. You can light any liquor on fire yeah. if you're determined enough. Yeah. Yeah, I've asked for 151 the other night, they wouldn't do it. Out at the one we used to go to out of the Eagles. I ordered 151 one night having a bad fucking night. And when they brought it out, set my two shot glasses down, brought out my chip on. <laughs> and the couple of people sitting around me looked at me like I was nuts and shot both of them and set them back down. The glasses were still fucking burning when I set them down. <laughs> You're out of your mind. Maybe. What? <laughs> it's been a rough day. It's been a rough day. Like after that drive back and forth in Alabama. Yeah, that's been a rough day. Mm. <laughs> Try going from here to Los Angeles, California. Staying there for a total of three and a quarter hours. Mm -hmm. And turning around and driving back. Mm -hmm. Good God. Today was bad enough with two kids in the car. <laughs> that don't know how to shut up. I had the other Gary that we all know and dislike, and his dad. This the king? Yeah. yeah. No. no. The one that would actually have a reason for going to L.A. Oh. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> all right. That was a fucked up trip. <sighs> yes, you're not going to finish that? No. Out of here. <laughs> Much obliged. It's really not a bad beer. It's just the aftertaste is killing me. It's... I don't know how to explain it. It's... <laughs> the off quality of the aftertaste is literally building with every gulp I take. Yeah, and the aftertaste is getting to me also. It's not probably as bad as yours, but I can't taste the aftertaste. Pussies.
But it does taste good, though. It has a good flavor. Well, I was guessing there was some sort of chemical or something in it, because that's 90% of what I can taste any fucking way. Woohoo, bitch. Put all the head in there. I haven't just as much head as you had. You're making excuses. Wasn't he saying he was going to try to be back for another review at some point? Mm -hmm. Oh, yes. We're going to have to buy the boots. The boots? Do you gotta twist the boot. Competition. You gotta twist the boot. <laughs> <laughs> oh, no. We're doing drink off with hands and the big ass mugs. Oh, fuck fun. yes. Two cans of eggs per mug? Hell yes. We can do that. <laughs> Let's do it. Tonight. Tonight? <laughs> Tonight. <laughs> These two are getting fucked up. Yes. And he's probably going to sit back and laugh. <laughs> probably. It's all your fault. You think you're... You started this. I started this. I, yes. I, I start this. You started beer reviews and I started drinking hams. It's all your fault. First review. Hams. Doesn't mean to do everything I say. No, but it tasted <laughs> good. It was like not as I do. It tasted good, though. That is true. It is. <laughs> yeah. It, it, it does taste really good. Well, I guess. But to the cores, good course. job. Don't have too much care for the aftertaste. Beer tastes good, though. Not bad. I'd, I'd buy it again. I, oh, I, yes. I really do like it. I'd, I'd buy it again. again. Same with the Coors Light. I'd, I'd drink it again. <coughs> Matter of fact, I still have a bottle of this left, and I might, still, I might drink that one. You never know. I'll definitely, definitely drink it, and I'm not going to give it away or anything, but it'll get drank. <laughs> not like Budweiser. I have to point this out, especially looking at the camera at the three of us. Mm -hmm. Something that's been told to me was unbelievable God knows how many times over the years. Isn't it odd? Granted, we don't look quite as much alike as we used to since I got in the wreck, but isn't it odd that I'm the one of the three of us that's not related to them? These two are He's still our brother, though. Either way. True enough, <laughs> but, yeah, these two are the ones that are blood-related, not me. That's because he has hair and I don't. Do you want to share it? some? Man, yeah, uh, if we can make you a wig. <laughs> It'd be funny as shit. <laughs> no. The whole it's purpose for off. cutting our hair short is so we don't look like a dirty fucking hippie. Yes. Yeah, well... When you work in a tattoo shop, what do you know? <laughs> Look, it's the midget Jesus. It's the midget piercer. <laughs> midget I just stab people all day. It's great. <laughs> midget Jesus. Yeah, people be like, oh God, this is going to hurt. I'm like, no, you don't have to call me that. <laughs> I know. You don't have to remind me. <laughs> no, I'm not going to feel nothing at all. I promise. <laughs> I didn't feel a thing. <laughs> exactly. I told them that all the time. Didn't feel a thing. Now, why are you complaining? I say the same thing when I did tattoos. Man, that hurts. No, it didn't. What the fuck are you talking about? I didn't feel a thing. thing. <laughs> <laughs> I surprised him when he gave me a tattoo because I just kind of stood, just kind of sat there. How'd yours turn out that did? Uh, that were goddamn good. Cool. I just sat I'm there. I'm still impressed with how that one I did came out. Mm -hmm. I just sat there and he's like, you're the first person I've ever done that didn't move the fuck around all the time. <laughs> You just gotta sit there and take it. I mean, that's all there is to it. Well, <laughs> most of the people I tattooed was, you know, people like my ex and both of her parents and her friends and... Yeah. Well, well, like, whenever you're wanting a good piece of artwork done, you gotta sit still. Because every time you move, it's gonna mess up that line. If it's, yeah. a if it's a crooked line, that's yours, not the artist. Nope. And you <laughs> gotta pick a better tattoo artist than I did. <laughs> well, it's, it's one of those things that... Yeah, you know, tattoos are different for everybody. To me, it's kind of a... It's more of it's a kind of, therapy. It's, it's, yeah, it's therapeutic. It's cathartic. It's kind of getting into a zone. A lot of people you know? think they're going to hurt really bad, but if it hurt that bad, why would so many people have them? Right. It they kind of feels hurt. like a cat scratch. They do hurt, but that's the point. Yeah, to an extent. Yeah. Now, granted, they hurt worse for the first three seconds than they do the whole rest of the time because shock kind of starts setting a little bit. Yeah. 
It's like that area kind of almost goes numb. You can still feel it, but it's not like a pain. And it seems oh. like if I'm watching the needle, it... I guess like my mind's focused on it. It don't hurt as I'm bad. I'm the same way. If I'm looking away, like yeah. talking to somebody else or something, man, I hear the machine. I can feel them moving around on my skin, but that's about it. Yeah. If I'm watching, like when I tattooed my own leg, motherfucker. Yeah, that was the first tattoo I've ever done was on my leg, and that kind of sucked. But the tattoo I'm most proud of, or was most proud of, every fucking time I see it pisses me off now. <laughs> Because how was fucked that? the outlines are oh, and everything man. else. I never really looked at it that close, I guess, or maybe some of the ink has come out or something, but I didn't look at the outline on that. Yeah. yeah. It's because the dude that did this one was one of those people that could tattoo really, really, it was really well if he wanted to do it. But if he didn't want to do it, he just kind of... I can tell, you know, it's like darker in some spots and lighter in some spots, so it's just inconsistent. And he didn't have his line to... Set up right. Well, it wasn't even the depth, it was the speed. Mm. You know, some places he was moving really fast like that, the spots in it. Yeah. That's from just moving too fast. And then through here, he's going all slow, and you can yeah. see where he stopped a couple of yeah, times. Yeah, you see he's a lot slower here than he is here. Yep. That can be fixed, though. Oh, I know. I just haven't... Had it done. <laughs> pretty much. I haven't had the money to do it. Anyway, anyway all that shit doesn't matter. <laughs> Tours, I like it. I recommend it. Yes, it, it's. We should have another. It's very another good. It, it's very good, like but at split. the same time, <laughs> with my screwed up taste buds, I can. Right. So we're good. I don't know whether I'm still going anywhere tonight or not. I don't think so, but I gotta check. Uh, check your schedule, and have some hams. Anyways. As always, don't drink and drive. Never drink and drive. It's bad. Or you may be visited by the midget Jesus. And I will stab you. I get paid to do it. Good night, everyone.